بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ٹوڈے آئی ایم ہیئر ود ٹاپک آن بریسٹ کینسر آئی ایم ڈاکٹر محمد سلیم اقبال اسسٹنٹ پروفیسر آف سرجری ڈپٹی کنٹرولر آف ایگزامینیشن سرٹیفائڈ ان میڈیکل ٹیچنگ ریسرچ اینڈ کلینیکل کوآڈینیٹر ٹو وائس چانسلر فیصل آباد میڈیکل یونیورسٹی فیصل آباد اسپوکس مین فیصل آباد میڈیکل یونیورسٹی فیصل آباد پاکستان and if you have not subscribed my channel before i request you to subscribe my channel and press bell icon i will briefly summarize surgical anatomy of breast protuberant part of breast extends from second to sixth rib and from lateral border of sternum to anterior axillary line a thin layer of mammary tissue extends from clavicle above to seventh or eighth rib below and from midline to the edge of latissimus dorsi posteriorly the axillary tail of breast is palpable in some normal subjects in a few it can be seen in premenstrual or during lactation the lobule is basic structural unit of mammary gland the number and size of lobules vary enormously they are most numerous in young women from 10 to over 100 lobules empty via ductules into a lactiferous duct and there are 15 to 20 lactiferous ducts each lactiferous duct is lined with spiral arrangement of contractile myoepithelial cells and is provided with terminal ampulla a reservoir for milk or abnormal discharge the ligaments of coopers are hollow conical projections of fibrous tissue filled with breast tissue The apices of combs are attached firmly to superficial fascia and thereby to skin overlying the breast. These ligaments account for dimpling of skin overlying a carcinoma. The lymphatics of breast drain predominantly into axillary and internal mammary nodes. Breast cancer, the cancer that arises from inner lining of milk duct is called as ductal carcinoma. while the cancer that arises from the bulge is labeled as lobular carcinoma types of breast cancer it can be in situ cancer or it can be invasive cancer in situ cancers are ductal carcinoma in situ lobular carcinoma in situ and paget's disease while invasive carcinomas are invasive lobular carcinoma invasive ductal carcinoma and its variant ductal carcinoma in situ it is non invasive contained within the milk ducts and it may become invasive that is pre cancer invasive ductal carcinoma most common breast cancer and it accounts for 8 out of 10 invasive breast cancers and it arises from lining of ducts grows and invades the breast tissues spreads to lymph nodes and may spread to other organs lobular carcinoma in situ it is non invasive contained in lobules and does not spread into the tissue of breast it may become malignant invasive lobular carcinoma about 1 in 10 invasive breast cancers are invasive lobular carcinomas it is formed in the lobules grow through the walls of lobules and then spreads inflammatory breast cancer It is uncommon account for 1 to 3% of all breast cancers it is invasive breast cancer and there is usually no lump or tumor and it is usually mistaken for infection in its early stages inflammatory breast cancer makes the breast look red thick pitted and may have orange peel feel the breast may get enlarged feel warm hard and tender triple negative breast cancer this refers to breast cancer that is negative for estrogen receptor progesterone receptor and human epidermal growth factor 2 receptors because it is negative with all three receptors so it is very difficult to treat with conventional therapy traditionally triple negative tumors typically are the most common subtype in BRCA1 carriers demonstrate high histological grade occurs at relatively younger age group 
and are found more commonly in African and American women. Prognosis for triple negative breast cancer is typically worse and it requires more aggressive therapy. Factors that contribute to breast cancers the Risk factors Risk factors increases chances of having breast cancer but does not cause it. Risk factors can be modifiable or unmodifiable. Now briefly I will discuss about different risk factors. Gender Breast cancer is more prevalent in females than age. Chances of getting breast cancer goes up as women get older. Approximately 80% of all female breast cancers occur among women aged more than 50 years. Then genetic risk factors. Women who carry BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes have a considerably higher risk of developing breast cancer. Then family history. Breast cancer risk is higher among women whose close blood relatives have this disease. Personal history of breast cancer. A woman with breast cancer in one breast has greater chances of getting a new cancer in other breast or in another part of same breast. Race or ethnic background. Overall, white women are slightly more likely to get breast cancer than African American women. Dense breast tissue. Dense breast tissue means there are more glands in breast and there is less fatty tissues. Females with dense breast tissues are more likely to develop breast cancers. Then certain benign, not cancer, breast problems. Women who have certain benign breast changes, usually with EDPA, may have increased risk of breast cancers. Menstrual period. Women who have menarche before age of 12 and who have menopause after the age of 55 have high risk of breast cancer. Breast radiation early in life. Women who have radiation treatment to chest area as a child or young adult have a greatly increased risk of breast cancer. Pregnancy. Women who get married in early age group and become pregnant have less chances of breast cancer. It is proposed that Final or terminal differentiation of breast occurs only once female gets pregnant and final changes take place during lactation. So if the age of marriage is early, there are less chances that metaplastic changes will take place in these women who get married in early age. The next risk factor is not breastfeeding. As discussed, during breastfeeding, there is terminal differentiation of breast epithelium. Once it gets differentiated, there are less chances that it will undergo metaplastic changes. So, those females who don't breastfeed their kids, they are more likely to develop breast cancer than those who breastfeed their kids. Not having children or having them later in life. This is also an important risk factor. If a female is infertile or she gets married in later age group, then she has more chances to develop breast cancer. Certain kinds of birth control. If female takes contraceptive pills for birth control, she has more chances to develop breast cancer. Then using hormone therapy after menopause, it also increases the factor for breast cancer. Alcohol consumption, overweight, tambaku use also increase risk factor for breast cancer. Then night work. There are few studies which suggest that females who work at night have higher risk of breast cancer. I will briefly summarize risk factors into two categories, non-modifiable risk factors and modifiable risk factors. Non-modifiable risk factors are gender, age, personal breast cancer history, family history, proliferative breast conditions, breast density, early menstruation, and late menopause. Modifiable risk factors are radiation exposure, reproduction, breastfeeding, 
हार्मोन रिप्लेसमेंट थेरापी ओरल कंट्रोसेप्टिव पिल्स बॉडी वेट फिजिकल एक्टिविटी अल्कोहल यूज एंड तंबाकू स्मोकिंग प्रिवेंटिंग ब्रेस्ट कैंसर अवॉइड अल्कोहल कंजम्पशन फिजिकल एक्सरसाइज यूज बैलेंस डाइट अवॉइड पोस्ट मिनोपाजल हार्मोन थेरापी रिड्यूज बॉडी वेट ब्रेस्ट कैंसर स्क्रीनिंग एंड ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग साइंस एंड सिम्टम्स ऑफ ब्रेस्ट कैंसर अ लम इन अ ब्रेस्ट पेन इन आर्म पिट्स और ब्रेस्ट दैट डज नॉट सीम्स टू बी रिलेटेड टू वुमेन्स मेजबल पीरियड पिटिंग और रेडनेस ऑफ स्किन और ब्रेस्ट लाइक स्किन ऑफ एन ऑरेंज रैश अराउंड और ऑन वन ऑफ द निपल्स स्वेलिंग इन वन ऑफ द आर्म पिट एन एरिया ऑफ थिक टिश्यू इन आर ब्रेस्ट निपल डिस्चार्ज समटाइम इट मे कंटेन ब्लड then change in nipple appearance it may become sunken or inverted then change in size and shape of breast then nipple skin or breast skin may start to peel scale or flake graves signs in carcinoma breast edema of skin skin ulceration fixity to chest wall axillary lymph nodes more than 2.5 cm fixed axillary lymph nodes diagnosis breast examination clinical breast examination and breast self examination then mammograms breast ultrasound breast mri scan and biopsy little bit about triple assessment triple assessment includes clinical assessment then assessment by imaging and pathological assessment by triple assessment diagnosis can be made in 99.9% of cases regarding clinical assessment we take brief history of patient and perform clinical examination then imaging ultrasonogram of breast and mammography and pathological diagnosis can be confirmed through fine needle aspiration cytology and core cut biopsy Investigations for impalpable breast lesions. The techniques are stereotactic core biopsy, needle localizing biopsy, ultrasound guided biopsy, and biopsy with mammograms. Mammograms. Mammogram is an X-ray of breast that uses very small amount of radiation. Mammography can be used for screening as well as for diagnostic purpose. Types of breast biopsies. these are fine needle aspiration cytology core needle biopsy vacuum assisted biopsies surgical or open biopsy and lymph node biopsy then investigations to know about metastases these are x ray chest for lung metastases bone scan ct scan chest and or abdomen depending on symptoms and initial workup then mri brain and spinal cord and ultrasound staging of breast cancer stage 0 non invasive breast cancer has not spread to breast tissue stage 1 less than or equal to 2 cm and has not spread to lymph nodes stage 2 it can be divided into stage 2a and stage 2b stage 2a are breast cancer that are less than or equal to 2 cm and has spread to lymph nodes or the size of tumor is 2 to 5 cm and has not spread to lymph nodes stage 2b size of tumor is 2 to 5 cm and has spread to lymph nodes or size of tumor is more than 5 cm and has not spread to lymph nodes stage 3 stage 3 is subdivided into three categories stage 3a includes tumor that are less than or equal to 5 cm and spreads to lymph nodes forming clumps or tumor that are more than 5 cm and spread to lymph nodes without forming clumps stage 2b any size tumor and spreads to skin or chest wall and stage 3c any size tumor that spreads to lymph nodes skin and chest wall and stage 4 are the tumor that has metastasized breast quadrants and breast cancer as it is evident in the picture the breast cancer is more common in upper and outer quadrant of breast 
because most of the glandular tissue lies in this area. Differential diagnosis of carcinoma breast. Differential diagnosis can be fibroadenosis, traumatic fat necrosis, tuberculosis of breast, mastitis, antibioma, galactosine, and cystosarcoma phyloides. Causes of heart swelling in breast, carcinoma breast, antibioma breast, traumatic fat necrosis, calcified hematomas. Treatment of breast cancer depends on type of breast cancer, stage and grade of breast cancer, whether or not the cancer cells are sensitive to hormones, patient's overall health, age of patient, and patient's own preferences. Treatment options are surgery, radiation therapy, hormone therapy, chemotherapy, and biological therapy that is also called as targeted drug therapy. Surgery. Surgery for breast cancers may be lumpectomy or mastectomy. Then lymph node surgery may be sentinel lymph node biopsy, axillary lymph node dissection, and then breast reconstructive surgery. Number one, wild local excision or lumpectomy. Removal of tumor with one centimeter macroscopic margin of clearance is called as lumpectomy or wild local excision. Segmental excision or segmentectomy. One centimeter margin but excision incorporates tissue from nipple to periphery of breast is called as segmentectomy. Then quadrantectomy. Similar to segmental excision but 2 to 3 cm margin of clearance. Contraindication to breast conservative surgery. These are high grade tumor, tumor at multiple sites that is multicentric tumor, tumor more than 4 cm, small breast with large lumps. Contraindications to radiotherapy, for example pregnancy, history of connective tissue disease like SLE, history of previous radiation to chest and multiple axillary lymph nodes. Types of mastectomy in carcinoma, radical, Halstead and extended radical that is radical plus internal memory lymph nodes. These two types are obsolete no. Most commonly performed procedure is modified radical mastectomy that is MRM. It has three different types that is patties mastectomy that removes pectoralis minor. Then Modifications in patties mastectomies were a chin class mastectomy which retracts pectoralis minor, don't remove it, or scanylon mastectomy which cut and stitch pectoralis minor. Then simple mastectomy and palliative mastectomy that is also called as toilet mastectomy. Palliative mastectomy is done in locally advanced tumor. In palliative mastectomy, tumor with breast tissue and whatever possible is removed to prevent further fungation. Reconstructive surgery, reconstruction with implants, reconstruction with tissue flaps that is autologous tissue flaps. These can be transverse rectus abdominis myocranius flaps, latissimus dorsi myocranius flaps, inferior gluteal flaps, superior gluteal flaps, anterolateral thigh flaps. Reconstruction of nipple and areola. Uncoplastic breast surgery. Uncoplastic surgery combines latest plastic surgery techniques with breast surgical oncology. When a large lumpectomy is required that will leave the breast distorted, the remaining tissue is sculpted to realign the nipple and areola and restore a natural appearance to breast shape. The opposing breast will also be modified to create symmetry. This is good option for patients who are candidates for breast conservative therapy or lumpectomy and are also candidates for breast reduction or mastopexy that is breast lift. Adjuvant and neoadjuvant therapy. Adjuvant therapy is given after surgery and it combats metastasis. Neoadjuvant therapy is given before surgery and it reduces tumor size. Radiation therapy. Patient may require 3 to 5 sessions per week for 3 to 6 weeks, type of breast cancer will determine the type of radiation therapy used. Radiation therapy can be only breast radiation therapy or chest wall radiation therapy or breast boost 
in which a high dose of radiation therapy is applied to where the tumor was surgically removed. Chemotherapy intravenously given as a shot or taken as pill or liquid. They enter bloodstream and reach most parts of the body and combat metastasis. Hormone therapy. It is used for breast cancers that are sensitive to hormones. These type of cancers are often referred to as ER positive and PR positive cancers. Estrogen and progesterone promotes cancer growth. Drugs used to block estrogens that is tamoxifene, tormithine and fulvestran. And drugs used to change hormone levels. These are aromatase inhibitors and luteinizing hormone releasing hormones analogs. Targeted therapies. Drugs that target human epidermal growth factor receptor 2. Human epidermal growth factor receptor 2 proteins increase cancer growth. Examples are prostuzumab, pertuzumab, and lepatinib. Now I will discuss stage wise treatment of carcinoma breast. Stage 1 surgery is the main treatment. Breast conservative surgery followed by radiotherapy or mastectomy with sentinel liquid biopsy is done. If the tumor is receptor positive, then by giving adjuvant hormone therapy, incidence of recurrence is markedly reduced. Stage 2 New adjuvant therapy is indicated. Breast conservative surgery followed by radiotherapy or mastectomy with sentinel lymph node biopsy or axillary dissection. Adjuvant chemotherapy and hormone therapy is given. Stage 3 New adjuvant chemotherapy is given. If tumor shrinks, then breast conservative surgery followed by radiotherapy. Otherwise, MRM with axillary clearance. And postoperatively, adjuvant chemotherapy and hormone therapy is given. Stage 4 Systemic therapy is mainstay of treatment. Treat with hormone therapy, chemotherapy, targeted drugs, or combination. Surgery or radiotherapy may be indicated for palliative purpose. Breast cancer in pregnancy. About 1% of breast cancers occur during pregnancy or lactation. The difficulties of detecting a lump in enlarged breast results in late detection. That is, two-thirds of breast cancer in pregnancies have nodal metastasis at the time of diagnosis. If Breast cancer is diagnosed in first six months of pregnancy, then mastectomy and clearance forms the mainstay of treatment. Termination of pregnancy may be considered. In the third trimester, early delivery should be planned, then conventional surgery or new adjuvant therapy should be used, and taxane should be avoided in all trimesters of pregnancy. Management of local recurrence. Local recurrence may be classified as single spot relapse, multiple spots relapse, or a field change. The management strategy will be determined by previous treatment, site of recurrence, its operability, and hormone receptor status. Patients should be assessed jointly by multidisciplinary team, and treatment should be individualized. In general, recurrence in the chest wall or axilla should be removed surgically if feasible as it is usually a single site recurrence. But for multiple site recurrence, surgery may be easier if first reduced by systemic therapy that is hormone therapy or chemotherapy and if not previously used then radiotherapy should be employed before performing surgery. High risk breast carcinoma management strategies. Several options are available for managing cancer risk in individuals who have non-harmful BRCA1 and BRCA2 mutation. These strategies include lifelong surveillance that is for early detection which are self-breast examination, clinical examination, mammography and MRI. Second strategy is chemo prevention by using tamoxifene 20 mg per day, raloxifene 60 mg per day and or aromatase inhibitors. Third option may be 
risk reduction surgery that is bilateral risk reduction mastectomy and bilateral risk reducing oophorectomy then four strategy is lifestyle modification reduce weight have a good physical activities avoidance of hormone replacement therapy and promoting breast feeding male breast cancer risk factors include klein filter syndrome in klein filter syndrome ratio of estrogen to androgen is elevated and it increases the risk of breast cancer about 20 times second risk factor is brca2 mutation presentation is as a palpable painless firm lump that is often eccentric to nipple and fixed to chest wall and skin diagnosis is made by triple assessment histologically most of breast cancers are ductal type almost all male breast cancers are estrogen receptor positive but should be tested by immunohistochemistry treatment of male breast cancer includes modified radical mastectomy or radical mastectomy if pectoralis major muscle is directly infiltrated by breast cancer accompanied by axillary lymph node clearance radiotherapy is used to assist local disease control together with surgery hormone therapy for example tamoxifen has a good role because most of the breast cancers are hormone positive that is estrogen receptor positive so tamoxifen or letrozole and luteinizing hormone releasing hormone therapies are successful for managing male breast cancer and thank you i hope you have enjoyed my today's lecture i tried my level best to cover this topic i hope now you have a sound grip on the topic and if you have any question you can email me or you can contact on my accounts stay in touch stay blessed take care and never miss a video subscribe to my youtube channel